Right now it's 28 degrees Fahrenheit outside, the coldest point of the day. The sun is just beginning to come up. And inside my greenhouse, it's a very comfortable 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't have electricity out here. There's no heaters. What's keeping the greenhouse warm is water in barrels and jugs and keeping my plants alive. Join me today as I discuss passive heating in a greenhouse and I track the next few days when the weather is going to get much colder. Hi, I'm Gardner Scott, and I'm very happy with the heat in my greenhouse right now. Since I put my greenhouse up, I've been tracking the temperatures inside. And in an earlier video, I showed how the greenhouse is very effective at accumulating heat. But without anything to hold that heat in the greenhouse, it escapes. And at this point in the day, the coldest point, without any passive heating system, the inside of the greenhouse is as cold as the outside of the greenhouse. But what I've done over the course of many months is to add these water barrels, to put in these concrete pavers, and to have gravel in areas around the water tanks where I'm not growing plants. And the moist soil where the plants are growing is also helpful. All of these things absorb the heat during the day and then release that heat at night. That's important because the cold outside air temperatures at night have already killed all of my pepper plants. But it's different inside the greenhouse. With the warmer air in the greenhouse, my pepper plants are still growing. They're still flowering, they're still fruiting, and because the temperature hasn't dropped anywhere near freezing, they're doing quite well. This is why I have a greenhouse. During the shoulder months, when it's cold at night outside, I can keep it warm at night inside. It's all about the thermal mass, the water, the concrete, the gravel that absorb the sun's energy during the day and heat up and then release that energy to warm the air at night. Water has a very high specific heat capacity. That means it takes a lot of energy to raise the temperature of the water and it takes time for that temperature to rise as well. Well, inversely, as that energy is released, as that heat is released into cooler air, it takes a while. So the water moderates the temperature of the air over a pretty long time and it doesn't change a lot. It's like recharging a battery. The sun's energy is recharging the water. It's making it warmer every single day. Right now is the hottest point of today. It's 41 degrees Fahrenheit outside, but the temperature inside the greenhouse is a balmy 80 degrees. And all of that sun's energy is warming the water. So over the course of the next couple days, the temperature outside is going to continue to drop and I'm going to monitor how much it drops and how effective all this water is at maintaining a temperature that my pepper plants like. So let's come back tomorrow and see what the morning looks like. It's day two. Yesterday, the temperature dropped early and continued to drop through the night. Right now, it's 16 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Inside the greenhouse, 39 degrees. Now that may seem like it's cold, but 16 degrees outside will kill all of the plants that are actively growing. 39 inside the greenhouse means the peppers are stressed, but they're still alive. But today, 
more changes are coming. I'm a little concerned. The sun is coming up. It will recharge the water, but let's see how effective it's going to be. Because since this morning, the clouds have been building. The sun has been dissipating, and that affects how much heat builds up in the greenhouse and how much energy gets into that water. And to help out that process, to get the water to absorb as much energy as possible, I've painted my barrels black and all of my jugs loaded with water are painted black. Now, these used to be blue. That was the natural color of these barrels. And I noticed the blue barrels heated up pretty well. When the temperature dropped down to 28 degrees Fahrenheit overnight, the inside air temperature was 43 degrees Fahrenheit. But once I decided to go ahead and spray paint these barrels black, that improved. So, as I showed at the beginning, when the temperature dropped down to 28 degrees overnight, the barrels helped keep everything inside the greenhouse at 50 degrees. Even though it was colder outside, the black had helped the water absorb more energy, raising the temperature not only of the water, but of the inside of the greenhouse as well. Right now, it's 33 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Inside the greenhouse, it's 83 degrees Fahrenheit. The clouds are coming, they're going, they're not solid yet. That's the forecast for tomorrow. So, I've got my greenhouse closed up, building up as much energy as I can, so that when the sun is out, like it is for a brief period right now, it warms up the inside. But as soon as the clouds come over, I can see an immediate drop in the inside air temperature. That's okay. As long as the barrels keep absorbing that energy and the water heats up, I should have another warm night inside. Let's come back tomorrow and see how it works. Big changes overnight. The first snowfall, there's about three inches on the ground right now, and it's 14 degrees outside. It's the same time as it's been the last couple days, but it's hard to see the sun coming up because of all the clouds. And let's check inside the greenhouse. You wanna come in? It's actually still relatively warm in here. It's 41 degrees Fahrenheit inside the greenhouse, but there's not much light because the snow is covering the top. That's adding an insulation layer, but it is cutting down on the light. My tomato plants and my pepper plants are still doing okay. Chilly, but alive. Today is the big test because it's supposed to be overcast and snowy and cold all day. This is going to be a big test for my heat batteries. I'll come back this afternoon and we'll see how things are going. We've reached the warmest point of the day. Right now, it's 21 degrees. Yes, the hottest temperature today is 21 degrees Fahrenheit. It snowed through most of the morning. The UV index was zero with the snow and the overcast, but now there's actually a glimmer of sun. The UV index is three, and the greenhouse is beginning to warm up. It's now at 66 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not going in there, I'm keeping it shut up to build up as much energy as possible. I don't want any more cold air in there. And we'll be back in the morning to see how the greenhouse fares on a very cold night. Well, this has been the most educational night so far. And I'm amazed at what has happened over the course of the last four days. Just a few minutes ago, I recorded the coldest temperature yet. Outside, 
10 degrees Fahrenheit. And the water has done an effective job at being a passive heat source for my greenhouse. This greenhouse is 12 square meters. That's about 125 square feet. And all of this water is about 250 gallons. And as we've seen over the course of the last few days, the water, the gravel, and the concrete pavers have done a great job fighting off the cold. But just like when you use your phone all day and you drain the battery, it takes a long time to get that energy back. And yesterday, it just wasn't long enough time with the sun shining. It was overcast all day long, except for a brief period of sun, and the temperature never got above 21 yesterday, which means this heat battery was drained and it couldn't recharge and it couldn't overcome the excessive cold last night. Right now, in the greenhouse, it's 27 degrees Fahrenheit. I can see damage on my peppers. I can see damage on my tomatoes, but it's been extremely educational because it's shown me that the passive heating system does work unless it's overloaded. And this string of extremely cold temperatures is unusual for me. So, I now know that I can continue growing in this greenhouse well into fall and possibly into winter if I can just avoid a four day stretch with extremely cold temperatures like I've been having. The passive heating does work. I like it. And you can see how effective it's been at keeping the temperatures up when you compare it to this other video that I made when I didn't have passive heating. Check it out now. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.